peeper, 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 peeper. Que pasa, suck, pasé, what they do. Now, people, the first part of this video is called classified teeth. And people, I am not talking about a teeth that is classified. That means that in basically have him license for teeth. No, people, I am speaking about a teeth that basically watch the classified ads in the newspaper, be it the Gleaner, the Observer, the Star, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. And then what he does or what she does is that them call you and them basically stick you up and take away your stuff, whatever it is. Now, people, when I talk about these classified thieves, these are the items that they are stealing. We are speaking about cars. We are speaking about motorbikes. We are speaking about computer, laptop. And very important and the most, the one that they steal the most, we are speaking about cell phones. We are speaking about high price cell phones. We are talking about the Samsung them. And we are also speaking about the iPhone. Now, people, we understand that a lot of persons in Jamaica, them buy stuff from overseas and then bring it come to Jamaica and them sell it for a profit. And then them basically go back to market and basically double up or triple up, whatever you want to call it. That's their little hustle. However, people, these thieves, these two-foot posts, these two-foot hyena, they have concocted. They have come up with some sort of plan, some intricate plan, some devious plans to basically take away your profit and also take away your life. Now, people, we've seen on many occasions, we see a lot of persons go sell car and them go sell motorbike. However, they did not make it. Them either lose their money as a buyer or them lose them bike or lose them car as a seller because sometimes these people are going to take the people and care for parts they are going to take it and go past some sort of works we are speaking about the robbery we are talking about tech where people live so people may just uh, tell you so now people i am going to speak specifically about an incident that occurred somewhere uptown in an uptown apartment and people i have the video somebody sent me the video However, when I look at the location of the video and where the video was shot from, it kind of would have let the people know who exactly took it. So therefore, I am not going to even use this video. However, I am going to tell you specifically what happened. So this young lady contacted me and she said that she had a video. She was home and she was looking through her window and she saw some strange man pull up. And when the strange man then pull up, she also saw the security go to the strange man them. And basically, the man acted as if he lived at the apartment. So basically, he pulled up in a theme car. And then the person that was selling the phone, he pulled up in his car also. And both of them come through the security gate. So basically, them yell up the security. The security let them in, thinking that they actually live there because them kind of psych him out. So anyways, after the security let him out or let them in, he realized that something was wrong. He realized that something fishy was going on. So therefore, he put back down the gate, the security gate, and he went and he approached the person. Now, people, this is how slick these persons are. The one that was the thief, him basically have him combo, him have him side person beside him, and them driving to the apartment, and them act like them live there. And then what happened, he let out one of the person, him let out the thief, and him drive out of the apartment complex, while the next one that is basically going to take away the people them thing. So anyways, what I am trying to say is that the lady saw these two persons look like they was conducting some sort of, we are talking about D-R-U-G-S deal, because people, she did not know exactly what was going on. She thought that it was some sort of deal. We are talking about some sort of cocker deal, whatever the case is, because they had a little shoebox, only to realize that it was a cell phone. It was actually a iPhone or a high price phone. So anyways, people, like I said, the man call the man or the man come with the box like him I sell some sort of phone. I am speaking about the seller. And then the thief who was supposed to be the buyer, him call the man and the man come out of him car. Remember now, you know, the thief car come into the place and him go back outside. So he is waiting as a getaway driver. So when the man let him off and go outside, then he is there him call the man now where I sell the phone. There was two of them. There was a driver, I guess his little friend or whatever it is. And then people, don't you know, this dumb ASS try to grab the man's phone and people, like me say, him pick on the wrong person. 
So people, this is the account of the security and the video that she took. The man basically kick off back there. The two of them kick off. We are talking about the thief and the seller and the seller beat him up. However, the thief take with the phone and run left him slippers, jump over the wall and gone in the getaway car. And then after, yes, the person that was selling, we are speaking about his driver. Then blaze out at the apartment complex. And people like me say, the security was there. And when the security approached the man, me are talking about the thief, he acted as if he lived in the complex and people i am speaking about a top at top apartment complex me just i show you how bare face these persons are so therefore you have to be very careful now people the point that i am trying to make is that whenever you are selling anything in a jamaica the best place to go we are speaking about to the popo station may i talk about go to the popo station and make the police them know that you are selling something you are selling an item and you are supposed to meet somebody and people i would bet you any sort of money that they are not going to try to rob you at the popo station however if you let people in your house especially don't be stupid for basically let anybody in your apartment or your house or wherever you live because people they will take you away they will joke, joke you up they will pull off all sort of tool for you and basically take you out for your own thing so people the moral of the story is this be very careful be very vigilant especially when you are selling stuff to strangers because these strangers they will take you out for your own things point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source and i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also please subscribe to this channel we are speaking about show jamaica buzz and when you subscribe please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now people the next part of the video is called original eat and attack or if you live in a the garrison and you give a man a piece and him sample it, don't tell your friend. Because people, the truth and the fact is that these bad men out there in a the garrison right now, they are eating. However, they are in denial. So people, I am speaking specifically about a video that I got and people, like I said, this is YouTube. So therefore, I cannot put up just about anything that I so choose just for your entertainment and lose my channel. So anyways people, in this video there was a young girl that was talking and people like me say I don't know the ages of these persons, them look like them in a them late teen to basically early 20, me no know, however I am not going to take any sort of chance because you understand all the thing up on YouTube. So anyways, in this video this girl was talking to her friends, there were maybe about 3 or 4 girls and then maybe about 4 or 5 or 6 men. So anyways people, this young lady was laughing, they were jeering, we are talking about she and her friend them, her girlfriend them. And then the man, we are talking about the youth, theme friend them, I laugh half time too. So they are asking her, you sure say him do it? If him do it, make proof or show some sort of proof and she was laughing. And people, when she start laugh, me I talk about the man, grab her and put her power on the table and basically frazzle her out. I am speaking about him a B E A T R just like a slave or like some sort of Congo jump. May I talk about all sort of Mike Tyson people? It was very bad. This was not fit for YouTube, point blank and period. So, anyways, people, the point or the moral of the story is this. After the man was basically doing what he was doing to the girl, everybody stand up there, everybody was watching everybody was laughing while this man was frazzling out this girl me i thought but it looks so bad and people like me say i have four parts to the video and if you want it you can contact me on whatsapp and people i know that i have not been sending out a lot of the whatsapp because people i am just overwhelmed i am busy i have a lot of things to do however i have not forgotten so anyways people the point is that if you want it just whatsapp me one eight seven six eight nine four twenty seven eleven and people, if you don't want to get blocked, don't make any comment like this. Every time you give out your video and talk about contact you on WhatsApp, you never call me, call you a hundred times. People, I just saw the thing go. I am overwhelmed. I cannot basically do everything every time. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, the point that I am trying to make is this. The man frazzled out the girl and people, nobody would help. 
everybody was videotaping, everybody was laughing. So therefore, the same people them that was laughing half of the youth, where she claims say they am the pie, then she she start get some whatever, and then everybody start laugh half of her. Now, people, let me ask you a question. In a 2020, and I am speaking specifically to the women them out there in the comment section, because we know say a lot of persons out there them and them. However, they are eating and they are in denial. May I talk about gunman, may I talk about bad man, may I talk about thief, may I talk about just about any and everybody. So people, the point that I am trying to make is that if you question 99% of the women in Jamaica and ask them if the man them out there do them thing, they are going to say yes. However, if you ask 99% of the men them if them are do it, they are going to say no. So people, I want to know, I want to do a survey today. Who out there eat and who out there not eat? Who out there starve? People may need to know. Inquiring minds need to know because it seems as if a lot of these persons, a lot of these men in Jamaica, they are lying. And it seems as if it is just about one or two men that is out there going around Jamaica and yamming off everything. People may not know. So anyways, people, the moral of the story is this. If you give a man a slice of the pie and him basically take it and snack it. Don't tell. Don't basically be a tattletale point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up